The pace of development of air-to-air -air missiles today has been nothing short of remarkable. Many countries have developed new air-to-air -air missiles or new variants with superb upgrades over its early models. The upcoming air-to-air -air missiles can do so much more than today's versions, including better accuracy, achieving greater speed and range, and many more. Let's have a look at these 10 upcoming air-to-air -air missiles. So firstly, we have the Mica NGIR, which is equipped with a sophisticated infrared seeker that allows it to attack targets with low infrared signatures, such as unmanned aerial vehicles and stealth aircraft. The IR seeker will be based on a more sensitive matrix sensor. The smaller and lighter electronics will enable for more fuel to be loaded, expanding the missile's range, and a new double-pulse rocket motor will offer extra energy at the end of the flight, boosting agility and ability to intercept long-range targets. Up next is the joint new air-to-air -air missile or JNAAM. This is a new long-range air-to-air missile combining the AAM-4B active electronically scanned array seeker with the body of the Meteor missile. The JNAAM combined the UK's missile-related technologies and Japanese seeker technologies possibly with some adjustments to help the missile fit better in the F-35 weapons bay. This project has been continuing since 2014 and is expected to be in service soon. This missile will have a maximum range in excess of 100 km and will be provided to the F-35 stealth fighter. Up next, we have the Bostokan or Merlin, which is a short-range infrared homing missile. On 14th of April 2021, Merlin conducted a live-firing test from a Turkish Air Force F-16. The missile successfully destroyed a TAI Simsek target drone with pinpoint accuracy. It reaches a speed of greater than Mach 4. The missile was also planned to be integrated on Bayraktar Akinci and Bayraktar MIUS UCAVs. According to the manufacturer, it will have advanced agility due to its thrust vectoring, a unique warhead for maximum probability of kill and a reliable fuse. Up next, we have the Common Anti-Air Modular Missile Extended Range or the CAM-ER, which has been under development with MBDA and Avio for the Italian Ministry of Defense since 2013. Incorporating advanced technologies, CAM-ER provides complete protection against all known and projected air targets. The CAM Extended Range variant shares the same characteristics of the original CAM with the exception of a new Avio rocket engine, which significantly increases the missile's engagement range out to 45 km and a slightly adapted missile structure. Next is the Astra Mark II, which is a more improved variant of the Astra Mark I missile. As of September 2017, India was already developing on the Astra Mark II, which will equip the Tejas fighter plane in the 2020s. The missile will share smokeless propulsion of its predecessor Mark I. This missile will use dual-pulse solid rocket motor for extended reach and better kinematics during the kill phase. The plan is to extend the range of Mark II version to 160 km, rivaling American AMRAAM AIM 120D. Up next, we have the Mica NGRF, which is a radar guided air to air missile with an active electronically scanned array radar seeker designed to hit targets with low electromagnetic signature. Furthermore, the AESA Seeker will enable intelligent detection tactics to engage stealth threats. The smaller and lighter electronics will enable for more fuel to be loaded, expanding the missile's range. A new double-pulse rocket motor will offer extra energy at the end of the flight, boosting agility and the ability to intercept long-range targets. Next, we have the ASRAAM Block 6 standard developed under the ASRAAM Sustainment Program, which is expected to enter service on the Typhoon in 2022 and the F-35 in 2024. It has new and updated subsystems, built-in cooling and a new British-built seeker with more pixels. 
The new Block 6 looks set to be even better, promising to give its users a powerful edge in air combat. And unlike its predecessors, it is cleared for widespread exports. Oman and Qatar have already ordered the weapon for their typhoons, and further orders are imminent. Up next, we have the Raytheon Peregrine, which is a medium-range air-to-air missile being offered as an alternative for the AIM-120 missile on board stealth aircraft. It can easily be integrated on today's 4th and 5th generation fighter jets and is compatible with current launch gear. The missile is half the size and costs half as much as existing missiles, but it also has a larger range and performance characteristics such as speed, maneuverability, and lethality. The missile will use commercial off-the-shelf components, making it less expensive and more effective than older air-to-air -air missiles. Up next, we have the Gostagon, which is a medium-range air-to-air missile developed domestically by Turkey as the replacement for the US-manufactured AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. It was unveiled in May 2017 and was first test-fired in the Black Sea region in March 2018. According to the company, it will feature high thrust with low smoke solid propellant technology and a totally electronic safe and reliable rocket motor, arming and firing system. It too will be designed to optimize the likelihood of kill and its fuse will be dependable. Last but not the least, we have the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, which is an American beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile currently being developed by Lockheed Martin. This missile that is designed to counter sophisticated threats is likely to replace the AIM-120 AMRAAM already in U.S. service. The initial launch platforms are likely to be the United States Air Force F-22 and the United States Navy F-A-18EF with integration with the F-35 planned later. The JATM is planned to achieve initial operational capability by 2022. The AIM-260 production is expected to overtake AIM-120 production by 2026. And that, guys, was the 10 upcoming air-to-air -air missiles. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscription and like button and stay tuned for more videos from the bus. Thank you for viewing and bye-bye.